Greetings, Minecrafters, and welcome to another Minecraft discussion. Wow, it is absolutely, it is so gorgeous up here. I can't even say, and it's, I don't know, it looks, oh, wow, it looks like there's almost, I see white. Yay. That's Jay Peak behind me, uh, and it looks like a little dusting up in the higher altitudes, which as a skier has me just doing a, I want to do a flurry dance right now because it's happening up there. Oh, my God, I'm so pumped. Wait till I call my oldest son. We got to get our ski plans together. Okay, so I forgot if I said my name. My name's Kimberly Quinn, and I'm so excited. Got a little distracted by the by the snow up top there. Um, and I'm so I'm what I'm excited about today is to talk about that last five minutes, not of your life, no. Just uh, before you go to sleep at night, you know, many people, many, many, many people, I think, because it's we're actually predisposed to negative thinking. We've talked about that. A little bit heavier lift to think positively. Many people, the last five minutes before they're dozing off, kind of kind of ruminate on things that went wrong. They do one of two things. They ruminate on what went wrong that day. This happened, that happened, got to fix it, got to fix it, got to do it, got to think about it, got to stew. Got to just stew and stew and stir and stew. Um, and the other thing that many people do is they, when they're laying and they're about to hopefully be in, in a peaceful slumber, also start thinking about tomorrow. Everybody got to do this, I got to do that. Oh my God, my day's going to be so miserable, so hectic, so busy, so fast. Oh my God, I got this and that and that and this and 97 meetings and 46 people to talk to before 9 a.m. And this and I got 95,000 emails to return. And oh my God, like why wake up? Jeez, right? Maybe just stay asleep for a while. And, and, you know, and, and maybe it's crazy what, what, what runs through our heads right before we're off, you know, the brain is off to take a break and have rest, which it desperately needs. I mean, the, break, the brain is obviously awake 24-7, but it needs that uh, detachment from all the from all this um, stim, stimuli, right? And so the last five minutes, we can control this because that is an important five minutes. That's a really important five minutes. So here's what I'm going to ask you to do. Give it a go. Give it a try when you're... You're lying there and your eyes, are, your eyes are closed and you're just starting to go off. And, 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 and be aware that, you know, whenever we make a shift in habit, that the brain's like a two-year-old having tantrums. Like, no, 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 this is when we ruminate and think, and think all the what-if thoughts and do all that because this is our quiet time. And eh, you have to, re this gonna be, it might take a little bit of work the first, for the first while. And then, as you know, about after 21 days, that's the average time for habit to, to shift and, and stick. So try this, okay? Three things in your mind. Have your eyes closed. I am grateful for this that went. When it should be for that day, okay? I guess I shouldn't say shoulds. Never mind that. Say whatever you want to say. Um, I'm grateful for my health in general because that is that day. I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful for my uh, presentation going well today. Wow, it was great. It was fantastic. I'm grateful for um, my partner bringing me tea when I was in the bathtub. Or better yet, a glass of wine if it's at nighttime. Okay, I'm grateful for da, da 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 da. I'm grateful for the quiet time I had. I'm grateful for the movie I got to watch. I didn't think that meeting would end early, and I, I'm grateful I could. I left early from work today. I'm grateful. Whatever. Three things I am grateful for before you go to bed. Because here's the thing: when you're right about it, that that time is so critical, and people don't realize because the mind is about to for the next eight hours. I'm more of a six-hour person. Wake up feeling like a brand new penny. But let's just say you're an eight hours person or whatever, you're about to marinate like a steak, okay, in the unconscious. That that, that part of us, that, that the part of the brain that's responsible for 95 to 96% of what we do and say every day of our lives. So it is really important when you're about to to slip into that slumber for six, seven, eight hours to, to, to program your mind to do better, to do better than just ruminating what's already over or what's not yet here. Think about how much sense that makes. It makes no sense to just, you know, logically to allow that. And we are in control to a point, okay? So set the stage for, for a good sleep and get in the habit of it. I am grateful for, I am grateful for, I am grateful for. And after that, if you want to kind of, um, this is even better, if it, it might take more out of you at first. If you can, if you can really, um, after your three I'm gratefuls, if you can <clears throat> sort of try to try to slip into a place of feeling how good those three things felt, the dinner went well, you had quality time with a partner, whatever, really, just for a matter of seconds, just a matter of seconds, the important thing is keeping it positive, and picture his or her or their face or whatever, and you had a nice heart to heart, and oh my gosh, wasn't that fantastic, wasn't that a great use of my life minutes, because literally, we are marinating, like a steak in the unconscious, which takes over, the minute we go to sleep, it's like, uh, you know, the, the limbic system is very much in charge, it's like, 
leaving a bunch of teenagers at home alone for the weekend without any like Wah! you know it's just, it was, that's kind of what it's like so when we when we set the stage for our sleep to go well this this is a this is kind of a gradual reprogram of all that of all those uh messages that we maybe don't want anymore those agreements we don't agree to anymore all the ways we don't feel enough all the ways we're da -da 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 -da. You know, and, 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 and then you know where they go with the limbic system with the whole worry circuit and everything. So it's very, very important. Five minutes. We can spend that much time in the bathroom. So give it a go before you go to sleep. Come up with three things you're grateful for and really, really dip into your slumber. Okay. Dip into your, your, your blissful slumber on a positive note. This is Kimberly Quinn signing off with Little G in the beautiful notch in Northern Vermont. Have a mindful day and a great sleep tonight.